makers, in the last video I talked about wide angle lenses. In this video I'll cover telephoto and normal lenses. Let's start with telephoto lenses. Basically every quality I describe for wide angle lenses, the exact opposite is true for telephoto lenses. So whereas short lenses expand space, long lenses compress space. You can see that in this opening shot from High Plains Drifter where Clint Eastwood rides his horse toward the camera but very little forward progress is made. He rides and rides and rides and basically goes nowhere. It gives the character an unnatural, otherworldly feel. This compression of space can also be seen in this sequence from Heartbreakers, where the telephoto lens gives the impression that Ray Liotta is making very little progress towards his destination. Here's one more example from The Longest Yard, where Burt Reynolds is shot with a telephoto lens, in effect slowing down his escape and adding to the tension of the scene. Crew! You gotta let him get away! Shoot him! Crew! Shoot him, you crew! Shoot him! Crew! Kill him! Kill that son of a bitch! Shoot him! If you want to flatten space for whatever reason, the telephoto lens is the lens for you. And the more telephoto the lens is, the more the spatial perspective will be flattened. So a 100mm lens compresses space more than a 75mm lens. Akira Kurosawa employed telephoto lenses to replicate the two-dimensionality of Asian art. And Martin Scorsese used telephoto lenses on The Last Temptation of Christ to compose shots that were reminiscent of Renaissance painting. Another feature of the telephoto lens is that it has very shallow depth of field. So if you want to do a rack focus, you should probably be using a telephoto lens. The telephoto lens will keep the focus on your subject crisp while the focus everywhere else is soft. If you want the viewer's attention directed to the subject, the telephoto lens will accomplish it. That can lead to some gorgeous sequences like this one from a David Lynch commercial. The normal lens might not seem as interesting as the other two, but it's the most commonly used lens and there's a reason why. The normal lens produces the most naturalistic perspective. So if you want the viewer immersed in your story and grounded in the reality of your characters and situations, the normal lens is your best choice. You'll see it utilized for very straightforward storytelling like The Godfather, Out of Africa, or Ordinary People. It won't distract the viewer and will encourage a sense of reality. To recap, wide-angle lenses are used when you want to expand space, create a distorted perspective, minimize camera movements, or generate a lot of depth of field. Telephoto lenses are used when you want to contract space, have shallow depth of field, and want to focus the viewer's attention on a single subject. Normal lenses are used when you want to present the viewer with a naturalistic, distortion-free perspective. Lens choice is important. They determine the way the viewers will see the world you're presenting them. So make creative and informed lens choices.